What a beautiful sunny day to make a video. Yo, what is up guys? My name is Miggy. Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna talk about the Canon EOS RP. Let's go! So Canon announced the Canon EOS RP. It's a second camera in their line of full frame mirrorless cameras next to the Canon EOS R which was launched originally last year. So this camera is a 26 megapixel camera which I think has the same sensor as the Canon 6D Mark II. It has sensitivity up to 40,000 ISO for stills and 25,600 for video which is not bad. Yeah, they see that I got holes. This camera it can also do 5 FPS burst. What the hell is 5 FPS in 2019 with this price tag? Other cameras can do better. What the hell, Canon? But on the bright side, this camera has Canon's dual pixel autofocus system, which means this camera focuses really, really fast. Really fast. I mean, when I say fast, it's fast. Especially when you pair it with native lenses, which is like for the RF line, it's still expensive. I don't see buying this thing when you don't have the cash lying around. So yeah, think about it. So when you're using native, uh, so when you are using native lenses, this camera focuses at around 0.05 seconds. It has 88% coverage and you can also go down to negative 5 EV and you have focus speaking. Focus speaking is a really good feature for this camera because before you take your shot you can make sure that your subject is in focus and it's sharp. The EOS RP has a 0.39 LED EVF which has 100% coverage which means what you see in the EVF is what the camera sees. So when in the post, you won't see extra edges, extra, extra everywhere. Yeah, so it's a great plus. And it also features a three inch, 1.04 million dot articulating screen, which has been a common feature for Canon cameras now. Another thing I don't like about this camera is it uses LPE 17 batteries which doesn't last that long so if you plan on buying this camera buy three or four of these batteries if you plan to shoot outside the whole day so let's talk about video so Canon EOS RP has 4k and full HD but the thing is it's the same as the M50 before which is you cannot use the dual autofocus when shooting 4k that's the downside they're putting dual pixel autofocus on your full HD but you can use it in 4k why can it so let's go to 1080p full HD it doesn't have 24 frames per second it only has 60 and 30 so for those people who are really taking videography, cinematography, or just filmmaking seriously, I think this camera isn't for you with the fact that it doesn't have 24 FPS. 30 FPS is good enough, but 24 FPS, it's the thing that makes the film look cinematic. So let's go to the price of the camera. This Canon ESRP is priced as $1,200 with the body alone. Priced at $2,400 which comes with a lens that is 24-105 L-Series F4 IS USM for full frame mirrorless cameras. So for the price tag, I think this camera is one of the cheapest full frame you can get 
in the market it's 1200 for the body you can get an adapter and just mount your full frame EF lenses to it this is Canon's way of bringing full frame mirrorless to the masses but I think this is still lacking missing the 24 frames per second is just a big thing and let's just wait for Canon's update maybe then the next firmware update they might give you the 24 frames per second let's just hope they give you that because 24 frames per second is like a big deal for some of the filmmakers and it's a deal breaker if they don't give it to us so that's my non-professional unsponsored impression of the Canon EOS RP and if you like the video don't forget to smash that like button below and if you want to check out what gear I'm using the link is down below you can check it out it will help a youtuber like me yeah so thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit like subscribe and show some love see you in the next video